And how's it going guys, Josh here. I have two knowledge infused music video tutorials coming at you soon. This first one's gonna be with my bro Tyler Casey, and the second one that's coming soon is gonna be with Matt Alonzo. They've both done countless music videos and they have a lot of tips that they wanna share with you via the channel. But first I'd like to thank everyone that signed up to Envato Elements during our promotion that we did last week. Every single subscription that we get helps the channel out a ton. Envato Elements basically gives you unlimited downloads to over 500,000 VFX packs, transition packs, stock footage, and so much more. You still wanna sign up, Olufemi Tutorials has a special coupon that allows you to get your first month for only $10 and then it goes back to $33 a month. This coupon is actually only happening for this month, so try it out. You can literally cancel it anytime. I promise you it'll be worth it. If you sign up within the next 24 hours, I will personally give you a personalized video message on your IG and I'll shout you out in the next vid. Just make sure you leave me a DM at Made by Olufemi with your receipt after you purchase. What's up guys, I'm Tyler Casey, I'm a music video director and I'm gonna give you five tips on how to improve your music videos. So one tip that I would say to improve your music videos is you don't always have to be on a gimbal or be handheld, is throw it on the tripod and leave it there. Set up your shot, set up your lighting. You and your camera don't always have to be moving. You can put your camera on a tripod and get a locked off shot and do the movement in post or make the lights move around them. You could really create a dynamic and smooth scene with a locked off shot. Shoot in 4K, throw some keyframes on, you're gonna get smooth push-ins and pull-outs on any type of scene. So using a locked off shot, this absolutely helped me in so many situations, specifically situations where I had to composite a bunch of different shots into one single shot, or a shot where I had to track some graphic element on footage. To achieve these effects without accurately having to mimic the exact same camera movement in the exact same way multiple times, I just shot all my shots wide, locked off, and I was able to use the virtual camera with an After Effects to actually move all my shots shots and post via expressions. This ties into my second tip is use black backdrops. Black backdrops are super accessible. You can get cheap ones online or you can get curtains or you could just use dark backgrounds and be selective with your lighting. The thing I like about black backdrops is it's super easy to apply effects. You can literally just duplicate your clip, change the blending mode, and you could easily duplicate people without any masking and you could apply lots of effects on these. Just be selective with your lighting. Make sure you have soft lighting overhead and then make sure you have some type of hair light to separate them from the background. It's one of my favorite looks and I think it can really step up your music video production. This black background trick is especially underrated and you can really get creative with it, especially in the realm of transitions. Check out this overlay speed ramp transition that Tyler used in his SOB RBE video that he shot last year. Tip three is, aside from shooting performance shots, make sure to get tons of B-roll. B-roll is any footage where they're not performing. Some B-roll shots that I like to get are people walking into locations. I like to get slow motion close-up shots of people looking at the camera, environmental footage of the environment where you're shooting, and one of my favorites is reverse shots where you show your artist looking at something and then you reveal what they're looking at. It's so important to realize that B-roll is crucial for infusing narrative into a video and for breaking up performance shots. Many music videos that are just purely performance shots without a lot of B-roll can tend to tire a viewer out. My fourth tip to improve your music videos is make sure you have good playback. Make sure you have a loud enough speaker, make sure your phone's on airplane mode or you have an MP3 player so you can play back the song. Make sure you have the song downloaded so you don't have to stream it and you lose service. It's really important to have good playback so you get good performances out of your artists and you can get as many takes in as possible. I actually used my phone for playback during my last music video shoot and I kept getting calls during the takes. It totally threw us off before I implemented a simple solution, airplane mode. Get a variety of shots. Don't be afraid to switch lenses or get in a little bit closer. Make sure you get close up details and don't stay wide the entire time. Too often we see people staying wide with a gimbal and just moving back and forth in between performances. These are gonna make your video a lot more interesting and a lot more dynamic and overall gonna make your video better. So Tao has been a bro for a minute. I really respect his workflow and his awesome portfolio. So please support him. Make sure you follow his channel on YouTube, Tyler Casey. He has tons of incredible tutorials and make sure to hit him up on Instagram, Tyler Casey Prod. Tell him I sent you. Thanks so much for watching guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill. Circles, we got a really good looking show for you.